When you apply a hatch pattern, you can select the hatch pattern you want to apply. You can use one of the predefined hatch patterns that comes with the program, a user-defined hatch pattern, or a custom hatch pattern that you created or acquired from a third party. To create a hatch, on the home ribbon in the draw panel, click the hatch tool. When you start the hatch command, the ribbon changes to the hatch creation contextual ribbon. In the pattern panel, you can see a preview of a number of the hatch patterns that are available. You can use the adjacent buttons to scroll through the available patterns. Click the bottom button and a panel expands so that you can see even more of the available patterns. You can then scroll through the available patterns and select the pattern you want to apply. The pattern you select becomes highlighted in the pattern panel. Now you can use either the pick points or select objects method to add the hatch to the drawing. For example, to use the default pick points method, move the cursor inside the circle. You immediately see a preview of what the hatch will look like. If you move the cursor outside the circle, the preview disappears. When you click inside the circle, the preview remains inside the circle, but note that the hatch has not yet been added to the drawing. The hatch command is still active, and you can use the controls in the ribbon to change the appearance of the hatch. Maybe you want to choose a completely different pattern. Perhaps you have decided to use the Escher pattern. You can select a different pattern in the pattern panel. As soon as you do, you can see the new pattern previewed inside the circle. You can also use the controls in the properties panel to change the scale, angle, or other hatch properties. Once you are satisfied with the appearance of the hatch, you need to complete the command by either clicking the Close Hatch Creation button or by simply pressing Enter. At that point, the hatch object is actually added to the drawing and the command ends. There are also several other options you can use when selecting the hatch pattern to be applied. When you start the hatch command again, notice that in the Properties panel is a Hatch Type drop-down. By default, this is set to Pattern, which means that the program will apply one of the available hatch patterns. But if you expand this drop-down, you can also choose a Solid, a Gradient, or a User-defined pattern. If you choose Solid, the area will be filled with a solid color based on the current hatch color. If you choose the Gradient option, the area will be filled with a gradient fill. If you choose User Defined, however, you can quickly apply a hatch pattern consisting of a series of parallel lines. You can see that a user hatch has been added to the pattern panel. The hatch angle field controls the orientation of the lines, so if you leave that set to zero, the lines will be horizontal. The field below that now controls the hatch spacing, which is the distance between those lines measured in drawing units. Expand the properties panel. The double control has now become active. Click to toggle this on, and the hatch pattern now includes a second set of parallel lines perpendicular to the first. You can also see this in the pattern panel and in the preview of the hatch. When you are satisfied with the appearance of the hatch, click inside the area you want to hatch. The hatch appears in the drawing, but this is just a preview of what the hatch will look like. You can still use the controls in the Hatch Creation Contextual ribbon to continue to adjust the hatch pattern. For example, perhaps you want the hatch to be applied at a 45 degree angle. Once you are completely satisfied, either click the Close Hatch Creation button or simply press Enter 
to add the hatch to the drawing and complete the command.